Alright, so you're stuck down in lockdown, you don't know what you're gonna do. You're going around on YouTube, you see Leo Spencer, so you click on his video and now you're watching me. Guess what? You think you've got it bad, are you crazy? Alright, so I took my car, my beautiful car that I absolutely love, put so much time into, to Manchester the day before quarantine, and then guess what? My car's now quarantined in Manchester. Ask me if I have a car. Ask me if I have a car. I don't have a mic EBC, you probably can't even hear what I'm saying, but that is not the story on today's today's video. So we're gonna be going back in time a little bit here. Let's let's rewind a little bit, okay? So I was literally getting, and I'm talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments saying, Leo, you're a thief, Leo, you're this, Leo, you're that, Leo, you're this. All because of a video that Scooter Brad made, right? Scooter Brad basically messaged me, um, and said, tell me your side, blah, 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 And I said, Brad, I have nothing to prove to you. I have absolutely nothing to prove to you. Like, I don't want to be in your video. I do not want to be on Scoot Review. So, just leave it, like, it's done. And he goes, rah, 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 and makes a video on me. Then everyone's calling me a thief. Okay, so, some, some stuff has come to light, right? And we get to see what... What snail scoots, I don't know if you remember them, even... Oh, snail scoots, right? They, they... They're just a, a, a shit shop, really. Really bad, really terrible, right? They lent me some bars. I used them for the weekend, and before I had a chance to pause and thank them, they decided to absolutely slate me to Brad, right? And then Brad posted this video. Like I said, it was, it was a load of snow. If you, if you watched it, you watched it. If you didn't, you didn't. Um, but anyway, we got some news for today, right? I'm scrolling around on Instagram, um, and I see my guy... L underscore I underscore L un underscore L underscore Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. And I'm seeing some stuff. And it's voice, it's, it's, a, it's a video of, of, of a, a phone call with them two. And I swear to God, you will literally laugh at how disgusting this snail scoots guy is. And I got called a thief because Brad decided to just make a video on me right and this is my point like brad just makes videos doesn't realize the damage that gets caused i had people like i said a billion times i had people calling me a thief for so long so long because of him right so so what we're going to be doing today oh yeah i'm just walking around in circles i can't stand still because quarantine's doing me in. um but yeah we're going to take on inside we're going to give the guy a facetime call and uh, just see what really went on uh, i'm also going to play you a little snippet of what um snail scoots was uh, saying to him now Rob, mate, why are you being so abusive? I'm just asking why you're not sending. You can't, 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 you can not 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 you Mate, I've paid him for both of it. You ain't paid shit for anything, you shit. Mate. I don't, like I don't want nothing to do with you, mate. You're a fucking liar and a fucking liability. I don't want nothing to do with you. What no do you way. mean? I haven't lied no about anything, Rob. Me. I haven't lied about anything. Let's get it. I'm, I'm keen to do this video just because people that don't understand Brad don't understand what he actually does. They just believe his scoop review and think everything's true. But realistically, the guy just posts any sort of drama that he can to get followers and it really does my head in. So let's get into the video. So, right, I just I just want to know like a quick background of like what actually went on. Cause I don't know if like I don't know if you saw it, but basically, um Scooter Brad made some video on me because of snail scoots because they flipped out at me for absolutely no reason I had people calling me a thief for like three months straight So I'm just curious to get your side of the actual story of what actually went on. Yeah uh, Basically, yeah, I've got all the chats and everything but basically I was sponsored by them They told me that I had to get this triad deck. They but I asked for a different deck, but he told me like Say if like it bends or breaks, it'll be easier for me to get 
a triad deck. Yeah. They've got, like, some, like, thing with triad. They've right. Got, like, some, they've got, like, something with triad. Like, triad gives them, like, good, like, deals and everything. So you wanted a different uh, deck and he was pushing you towards a triad? Yeah. Right. And um, he brought it down. He told me to come and meet him at Prevail. He brought it down, gave me, like, the, the uh, deck in bars, and he was like, right, we'll do a payment thing of, like, £50 a month. I was like, yeah, that's sweet. I'll do that. I don't mind. Yeah. Even though that I'm sponsored, I've got to pay for a part now that I don't even want in the first place. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If I knew I was going to be... If I knew if I was going to be paying for this, I would have got a different deck in it. I yeah, definitely. I would have deck. Do Definitely, I mean? bro, and, yeah. Yeah, basically, basically, as soon as he gave me the stuff, um, I gave it, I was up to date with my payments. Like, I gave him a £100 already for something I didn't even want. How much was the deck? Um, the deck, yeah, I don't know, even know how much it was, but I was meant to pay trade price for it. Yeah. Uh, I definitely, because I definitely have paid. I seen on your chat that you'd sent him like £150 and he still wanted more. Yeah, no, was that I've, right? I've sent him a hundred pounds. Okay. Yeah, I sent him like a hundred pounds. Um, it's meant to be fifty pounds a month. And if yeah. you look here, I've given him nearly a hundred pounds in one month because he's been pestering me for money. Yeah, no, I did see that. So much abuse, calling me a fucking cunt and everything. Yeah. Um, I basically said like I didn't want this deck in the first place, and now you're like telling me this and that. Yeah. Um, I bent it, like I bent the dropout on it whilst riding it. So he's told me, right, you need to send it back and I'll get the triad that's asked me to send it back. So basically, he said, triad is there, you need to send the deck back for warranty. Yeah. And and basically, I sent the deck back to him, um, paid £13 to get it back to him and everything because of warranty. Yeah. And then he basically was like, I'm not giving you the deck until you give me £110. Yeah, the guy's ridiculous. The guy is ridiculous. Yeah, and then he said, he called me up, bruv, calling me a fucking cunt and everything. Yeah, this I I was sat there like scrolling around on Insta, and someone sent me the uh, your story of him swearing at you, and basically said to me, yeah. "This is the shop that you had the argument with," and I was like, "Oh, that's funny." Yeah, I oh, mate, you don't mate. If you're gonna make a video about snail scoots and everything, think about this. Yeah, there's a deeper thing to it, bro. Because yeah, Rob has only messaged. And called him a black C and X Tuesday on a message. Jeez. After what I put on my story. So I put a video on my story. I put a video on my story about um, Snell Scoots basically him having a go at me. Yeah. And and then he's messaged Moses calling him a black C and X Tuesday. Yeah, fuck, bro. The guy's crazy. He actually yeah, is crazy. Yeah. He should Like, when, when I. Um, I'd never even had contact with the guy. Like, Steve from, a, like, near Unit 1. Do you know who he is? Oh, uh, no. Nah. All right, well, anyway, he was the one that sorted me out the bars from this snail scoots because he knew him. Um, and then next minute, I had this snail scoots in my DMs like, you fucking prick, send us these bars back. I was like, okay, you need to chill. But yeah, that's oh, mad. Oh, is that skate room? Uh, yeah, they're in, they're in skate room, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know where they are. They're not there no more, bro. They, they've been abusive to so many kids and everything. Yeah, so now... need to be stopped. I think he needs to be exposed. Just, like, someone needs to make a YouTube video about it or something. Yeah, definitely. This video, uh, this video is mainly aimed at two people, to be fair. This is aimed at Brad to say, like, Brad, you need to stop posting. It's like, my, my yeah, point, dude. bro... Mate, it makes so much sense now. It makes sense that you definitely got absolutely abused by Snow Scoots for no reason. Bro, you this is... Yeah. Off of you, bro. yeah, exactly, exactly. And this was my point yeah. back in then, yeah? That's why he does it. Brad made this video, right, and basically said to me, like... He, he got his side off snail scoots and then he messaged me and said, listen, you need to tell me what's gone on. You need to tell me this. I said, Brad, I need to tell you nothing. I, I owe nothing to you. I do not want to be on your videos. So simply just do not post about me. And then he came at me and all his little yeah. scoot review lovers were like, you, you're a thief, you're a thief, you're this, you're that. And I was like, oh, whatever, bro. Like, I'll make my video and then I'll be done with it. And then, that's, like I say, I seen your story and I was like, this is the perfect time to set an example of snail scoots and yeah. scooter Brad. Yeah, mate, definitely. He put my name on there and just be like, look, little pain has had the abuse. You yeah, no worries. Understand. I've, this isn't, I've had abuse ever since I got the deck. Ever since I got the deck, yeah, he's called me up 
numerous times telling me I'm a low life and everything. Not to mention you didn't even want the deck in the first so place. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's why I recorded him. That's yeah. why I was like, fuck this, babe. I said to my girlfriend, I was like, fuck this, record this. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, not taking it. <laughs> I was laughing at the video, right? <laughs> I was scrolling through your stories. So obviously, you filmed the conversation, and then next, you've got a phone call. If I'm like, what's that on your story, mate? <laughs> yeah, I know. I that know. bit made me laugh. And, then, and he was trying to threaten me to get me kicked off Eagle, thinking, bro, he's like threatening me and threatening me that he's going to call Gary from Dog Scooters and say that he's going to ruin our reputation. And Gary doesn't work at Greenover anymore. Um, and number two, a guy from Snail Scoots cannot do anything. Like, me. he's literally got the worst reputation already. He's killed his shop, like... To be fair, the only reason his shop was still alive when I had that situation because Brad were protecting him, like... Yeah, yeah, and now Brad's fucked. Yeah. has been tagging me, tagging me, Oh, Brad, you need to address this and everything. And I'm thinking, oh, my days. Do you want to uh, share your Instagram? Give yourself a little shout out. Uh, yeah, if you want to, mate. Go on, bro. Drop it. Um, uh, little pain. Uh, little pain. Yeah, yeah. All right, no yeah. worries, bro. Nice to speak to you anyway. All right, man, say. Okay, there you have it. So, right, let's work this out. He didn't want the deck. They forced him to buy the deck. They told him it would be at trade price. Then he's tried to get more money out of him while slating him, calling him a low life, um, contacting him. Bearing my is like the nice, let me say, bro. Like, he's, he's just a sick guy, right? Um, and he's messaged him and he's called him a. Well, you you heard what he called him. Um, so yeah, my point is the point of this video. I don't want to start anything again. I'm I'm not really too bothered about that. But my point is, Brad, do not. Because effectively, right, I know it didn't, but effectively, you making videos of false information can ruin people's careers. Like, I I already have a fairly, like, strong social media fo social media following, and, like, a lot of people have been following me for a lot of years. So they know what I'm like. They know I don't... F they don't want to... They know I'm not out to steal bars from someone, do you know what I mean? But to people that you're cussing, like, that you're insulting Brad and making videos on when you don't even know the full side of the story you literally just to you it's just a youtube video what gets your followers and subscribers and a couple of comments and a bit of cash here and there but you could potentially ruin people's careers so my point was just be a little bit more thoughtful on what you post well you won't you've been doing this for years but yeah, whatever it is what it is thank you for watching click the like button click the subscribe button and we will turn on port well you, you you're gonna turn on post notifications Peace. Also, one more thing. I'm going to let you um, watch the video of when the guy called him back on the phone because it's quite funny, actually. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's on your story, mate? Hello? Hello? What's on your story? Uh, what's on your story? Pardon? Pardon? Classy, mate. Really classy. Just sending a copy of that over to Eagle for you right now. Cheers. In the kitchen, whipping the yola, making it bubble, but this ain't no cola. Always been trouble, like chips on my shoulder as I've got all day, yeah. I'm trying to hustle my way to a rover, can't remember the last time I was so.